that's what the pussy calls me. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastic all, that's what the hoes call me. Zuma TV back with another video. Yeah, man, this is me. I think this is like my first time showing my face on the camera. You know, a lot of people think I'm old. I'm actually 19. Anyway, this that's nothing to talk about. Now, sorry for the inconsistency with the videos right now, man. I've been on the move, been trying to make these little these little power moves on my YouTube channel, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Shout out to Rashad Brown. He gave me a media pass to come uh, see this press conference. Now, if you guys know Philly and you guys know your boxing history, you would know that Philly is known for the good fighters that they bring to the table, that they bring to this sport. And with that being said, there's a lot of up and coming fighters that are on this card that I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to witness come June 24th. Now, if you guys watch my first interview with the uh, Mazuma TV sit down, you will know that I interviewed Rashad Brown and his fighter and Brandon B. Rob Robinson. And um, he's fighting a, a tough opponent come June 24th. In and half a mile, turn right onto Aramingo Avenue. See, I'm on my way over there right now fighting Gabriel Valencia. Now, the guy's only lost to undefeated fighters, and from what I understand and from what I've heard, he's a solid opponent. So I'm looking forward to see what B-Rob brings to the table. And uh, if you guys actually know your boxing and know, uh, if you watch boxing in the past, you would know who Kermit Centron is as well. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Rican fighter. I think he's out He's out from uh, outside of Philly in Red and PA. And um, if you guys look at his resume, he is an experienced veteran. He is a definition of one. He's faced Adrian Granados, who just came up short against Adrian Bronner. Uh, went on to fight Canelo. He fought uh, Antonio Margarito twice. He, he, he's an experienced guy, you know what I'm saying? And has been uh, in the spotlight several times in the boxing world. Uh, with that being said, he's going up against Tyrone Bronson. Uh, he's not that well known globally or even internationally, but in Philly he's well known. He's been on a lot of cards. He's won some, he's lost some, but he's a tough opponent nonetheless, so that's nobody to sleep on. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. So I can't wait to interview, well not interview, I can't wait to question these guys over at this press conference. And um, I'm looking forward to everything, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be the first time I've been a part of the media sometimes i'll just sit in the background and just let them talk see what they got to say but now i'm gonna be a part of these uh these answers you know what i'm saying i'm looking forward to it uh another fighter that i'm looking forward to seeing as well besides b rob and kermit centron and bronson would be uh steven ortiz now i know him a little bit personally through my family um uh, we have we we have mutual relatives so um he's fighting an undefeated fighter as well you know so that uh his opponent doesn't know how to lose in a professional setting, but it's something to really see. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how Steven Ortiz deals with an undefeated fighter. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first uh, undefeated fighter Steven has faced. So I want to see how he goes against this type of opposition. But nonetheless, I'm on my way right now to go see what's going on. Uh, I'm going I'm to show you guys what's going on behind the scenes. And uh, stay tuned. So with, with that being said, how does it feel coming from cruiserweight all the way down to super middleweight? Do you feel a difference? Like real, I feel like real, uh, real strong at this weight. 
I, I have a question for, for Kermit. Uh, in my opinion, I think you're definitely an experienced veteran when it comes to the sport of boxing. With that being said, do you feel as though you have the edge coming into this fight against Brunson? I just feel, I, I think I do. I mean, I have the, of course, the, the, the better experience. I, I, I fought the, the better positions. Um, you know, and it, it'll show, it'll show uh, Saturday night. Absolutely. Thank you.